So, uh, at the end of a very long day here at Cunningham Piano, and just as we were closing out, we had a piano being delivered, and I had a chance to meet up with Brian. Brian, so nice to meet Good to you. Good to meet you. And you are with Walter Piano Transport. Yep. And you've been moving pianos for how many years? It'll be almost two years. Just oh, so just pianos for two years, but you've been trucking in general for forty plus years. Forty plus years. Okay. So, but all you do now is deliver pianos. That's your big yep. full time job now, right? And we were just sitting and chatting. I'm ready to get ready to go home, but your stories are so interesting. I said, I'm pulling out the camera, even though I don't have my microphones with me. We're just gonna, I'm going to put you on the spot. So, tell me a little bit. You, uh, so, what's the, what's it like moving pianos full time? <laughs> it's to me, it's still after this long of time, it's still amazing that there are that many pianos that are moved every year across country. Yeah. Now you're with the company Walter Piano Transport. Right. One we have six yeah. trucks, mm -hmm. and generally when we leave out, we leave out with anywhere from I would say 35 to 45, 50 pianos. Wow. Depending on whether they're boxed units or okay wrapped units. That's amazing. Now you just you just delivered a piano, brand new piano here, and uh, uh, I think one of the things that I find fascinating is the long distance relationship. You have a, a, a wonderful wife, I yep. understand. Yep. So tell me a little bit of what your your married schedule looks like. Well, right now, uh, my wife uh, had cancer. Oh, and she went through oh, a so stem cell treatment program. Oh, and, so oh. But she just got some great news back. And mm. There's no myeloma cells or anything, so. Okay. That's pretty much in remission, and she's going to be probably going back to work probably end of March. Okay. So everything's worked out real well for that. No, but uh, you guys are apart quite a lot. I mean, you were yeah. on the road for how long at uh, a time? Anywhere from 14 to 17 days, and then I'm home for four or five days at a wow. time. Wow. Well, and and that, that must be rough to be apart for so long, isn't it? Yeah. It's... But I talk to her every day, and okay. we communicate every day, and so that makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I mean, she does. She was uh, she used to load my trucks. Actually, that's how that's, you met, right? That's how we met. Yeah, you, you both met in the trucking industry. Yeah. So she understands your life. Yeah? yeah, she knew that driving truck was my what I did for a living, and yeah. she's went with me a few times, and we went through New York City. And that was the last time she went with me. <laughs> so tell me about some of the famous pianos that you've delivered. You tell me about Well, I, I did haul the, the original piano for B.B. King That's up so to funny. a museum. I didn't haul it to the museum, okay. but I picked it up. And uh, it was one of those pianos that you look at it, and we have to do an inspection on them. And I called my boss up and I asked her, I said, well, what do you want me to put down on this piano? I said, it just looks like a piece of junk. <laughs> but, you know, that's when I found out it was B.B. King's wow. original bar piano. Wow. And it was going to the museum. Oh, and cool. uh, I've heard through the grapevine that there was pianos that I bought for Jill Walsh and uh, Ray Charles, although I didn't know that they were for them at the time. That is so cool. And, wow. Uh, hold some very expensive pianos. What's the most expensive piano you hold? That I know of was about, uh, it was over a quarter of a million dollars. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow. I mean, <laughs> Must have some very strong arms. Yeah? Well, that was, those are boxed units and okay. crated units. You know, they're in crates. And I seen a, a Bosendorfer. Sure, sure. We, we, and we the list price on that was $395,000. Sure. Yeah. So those are... So one of the things I, I, I find really interesting is kind of getting the inside scoop. You know, we see things, you know, I see, I see things on a retail level, but, you know, you guys kind of see things as they really are. Right. You know? So if you don't mind, so how are things? I mean, are... In terms I of the piano industry, from what you can see. Well, 
there's more to things than the piano industry. I mean, it varies from state to state, from regions of the country. Well, what are the and, hot regions right now that you, you see? Well, I run basically down to Florida. This is just kind of an unusual circumstance that got me over here east of the United States, but I normally run down through Florida, and it's been pretty steady. That's great. I mean, it's, you know, you have fluctuations around the holiday season and the summertime and stuff sure. like that, but overall, I would say that it's running pretty steady. And what about the Northeast? Yeah. Here? Well, this is the first time I've been up okay, here. Okay, so this is not your territory. No. Okay. And, uh, but Walters has uh, six routes that they run, and they have six trucks. Yeah. And we have drivers out west in California, and they run from LA up to the state of Washington. And you were saying that overall, we were talking right before we started shooting that, for the most part, new piano sales are about steady, right? As far I as would you can say see, so, yeah. yeah. From what I've seen and what I've been hauling, you know, sometimes you get more than others. I mean, but overall, as a general, right now, I would say that they're pretty steady. But and actually, even a little bit more than last year. Right? I would say a slightly more. Slightly more. And so gen gentle increase. That's In the, that's encouraging. You know? But you know, this is just a little trucker's info about the economy. Okay. Uh, the trucking industry is usually your first sign of what the economy is going to do. Yeah. You're like the lifeblood right. of the economy. Right? And uh, be, I'm not too, nobody's horn, don't get me there, but before this president, you could go into a truck stop any time of day and find a parking spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, if you're not there by 4 35 o'clock in the afternoon, you're searching for a parking space because there's that many trucks out there with you know the volume of merchandise moving across the country and it you know a lot of people don't realize that hmm. you know that uh, the trucking industry is a lifeline of yeah. the economic situation wow. and well of course there's a lot more in terms of online commerce with right amazon online sales but still you got to have the trucks it's right. just like sure. right now you see these prime amazon trucks yeah, yeah. Anybody that orders anything online, it still has to be moved by a truck to get to that location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like I said, I've been driving 40 plus years and I've seen a lot of changes over the years. And some good, some bad. But well, Brian, thank you so you're more much. You're welcome. Thanks you're for delivering a beautiful piano yeah. to us and for you're hanging welcome. out. And just give it yeah, thanks insight. for yeah. letting me hang out here. And, and we're like, oh, one last thing, you're, you're telling me a little about, uh, so your your truck is like your home, right? Yeah. It's, yep. it's it's equipped with ref, what, refrigerator, bunk bed, tell me about some of the cool things you have when, you're, when your truck is all stuck. Well, I, I usually prepare my food ahead of time at home, and you know, whether I cook something out on the grill or my wife cooks something ahead of time, and well, uh, just for example, for right now, I have meatloaf and, uh, grilled chicken and I got chili in the truck. It's in my refrigerator. All I have to do is take it out, put it in a bowl, heat it up, and you know, it's uh, but sometimes, well, I'm changing over trucks right at the moment, okay. so I'm kind of limited on what I have in there, but I carry canned food with me and- It's like a whole pantry, right? Yeah. That is so cool. You can live, you can survive in your truck. Yeah. If, if you get snowed in, or yep. in fact, you're gonna spend the night in the parking lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I have a auxiliary power unit on the truck, so I don't have to run the truck to That's so keep cool. heat in there, or, you know, keep the electricity wow. up and stuff like that. Wow. And, uh, but that's uh, and can you do internet and TV and stuff in there? Well, I'm just on my phone. I don't, I don't. You know, they have serious radio in there, so I can listen to you okay. some okay. nice radio and stuff like that. Yeah. But, uh, it's really a home away from home, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And, uh, so when you're when you are home, home, you were saying what? You this last about three days, you both, you're, you and your wife are ready to kick yeah, it out, right? Not, <laughs> so not maybe, really. Yeah, that, maybe it's a good thing you guys are spending time both together and yeah, apart. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been a it's been a good career for me. I can't. Uh, I've drove for some big name companies, and you know the time comes when you got to move on and do yeah. something else and. 
You know, now I'm driving for Walters and I enjoy my job. I meet a lot of very interesting people. Uh, I meet, well, I meet <laughs> a, a pianist. I don't know how many CDs I have from concert pianists that happen wow. to be at a place where I'm delivered to. Yeah, and, wow. you know, I get to talking to them. And the next thing you know, they're handing me one of their CDs to listen to in the truck. And I take it home and listen to, let my wife listen to it. And it is very interesting the different areas that people play. Mm -hmm. It's not just you know, classical or jazz or oh, country, sure. but you know, there's so many different uh, people that play pianos. Brian, thank you so much for hanging Whoever. out, chatting with us, right. and uh, this is a look at Brian from Walter Piano Transport. We love working with those guys whenever we have customers around the country, and uh, thank you for what you do. We really You're appreciate welcome. you. Thank you.